Hi guys, today I'd like you to meet Gingerbread Puppy. He's a new addition to add to your Webkins collection. He will be available this October for purchase. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this Gingerbread Puppy and you're going to need a total of 189 bands. You can make the face charm if you want. You'll need a total of 93 bands and 96 more for the rest of the body. So let's get started. Let's start by making the eyes and I'm going to use black. So I'm taking a single black, looping it four times on my hook, taking another single black, same thing, looping it four times on the hook, taking my brown and getting the loops for our eye off of the hook and onto that single brown band. And we'll do that for both eyes. And set it aside to add to our body later. And now we're going to make these knots for the ears and the tail and on the legs. And you're going to need a total of six green knots, seven reds, two blues, whatever shade you want to use, two pinks, and two purples. I'm going to show you how to do two knots and you'll have to pause the video to make the rest. So I'm using pink, taking a single pink band on the end of my loom, looping it from the second peg from the bottom, twist to the left, creating an X, twist to the right, and then looping it back onto the second peg from the bottom. Let's repeat for purple, taking a single band once again, looping it on the second peg from the bottom, twist to the left, creating an X, twist to the right, and looping it back on the second peg from the bottom, and making sure our bottom band's not tangled. Now we're going to go on the left side of our loom, grabbing the bottom band and looping it up and over to the center, creating our knot. And repeat for the other one. And take our knot off the loom. For our purples, you're going to have to put it on a single band to add to our ear. And you'll have to do that for two reds and two purples. And for the pink, take it off of the loom. For our dog, we have pink and blue together. So I'm getting my pink loop and my blue loop on my hook and then putting it onto my brown, the color of my puppy. And this is for our ear. And you want to put green and yellow together on a single loop. Once again, two purples on a single loop, two reds on a single loop. The green, you want to put on two bands and these are for the legs. And you'll have five red bands left to add to our legs and the tail later. So this is a little confusing, but we'll get it all straight. So go ahead and pause the video and make your knots and come back when you're done. Let's make our legs. I'm going to show you how to make one and you'll have to pause the video to make three more. So taking a single band from the first to the second peg on our loom, two single bands from the second to the third. And our bands with our green knot, we're going to loop it from the third to the fourth peg on our loom. Taking a single white twist double from the fourth to the fifth, now let's make the paw. We're taking a single band, looping it three times on the hook. Another single band, looping it three times on a hook. Like that. 
taking two single bands and pulling all those loops off of our hook and onto the two single bands. Make sure it's not twisted and we're going to attach it on the fifth peg for our leg. So that's what your leg should look like. Let's get a single red knot on a hook and you can do that for all four legs, getting all four red knots for your legs to put it on as we loop. So we're going to go under the cat band, grabbing the bottom two white loops and we're going to pull it up and onto itself, creating a nice teardrop. On the fourth peg, we're going to grab the two bottom loops, getting it onto a hook, and then pulling the red knot onto those two bands, and looping it onto the third peg from the top. So that's what yours should look like, and let's continue looping up to the first peg. And let's take our leg off the loop, and you can go ahead and pause the video to make three more. And come back when you're done. So that's what your leg should look like, and I'm going to tie it in a loose slip knot and set aside to add to my body later. And now let's make our ear, taking a single band, the color of your puppy, looping it from the first to the second, the second to the third, and we're going to take a single band with the red loop on it and attaching it from the third to the fourth center peg for our ear. Taking a single band, we're coming diagonally from the third center to the side third peg for both sides. And we'll come down twice for our ear. Again, I already made one, so you'll have to pause the video to make the second one. So that's what your ear should look like at this point. Now I'm taking a single band with the purple knot and I'm going to loop it from the side peg to the center peg diagonally like that. And we need a right side and a left side of our ear. So for one ear you're going to put it on the, from the right to the center and for the other ear you're going to put it from the left to the center for our purple knot. So this one I made before I put the purple knot on this band here from the left side to the center peg. So that's what your ear should look like. Taking single bands and closing up our ear. Taking another single band, we're going to loop it once to create a cat band and we're going to put it on the bottom most peg for our ear to cap it off. And now for our ear, we want the green near the purple. So here I'm going to place it as a holding band across those two pegs and I want my green knot near my purple knot and we want the knots to be pointing down. Again when you do your second ear you want your purple knot to be on this side and your green knot to be on this side where the yellow is and the yellow is on the green. Now for the second set of holding bands for our ear we want the pink band or the pink knot near the green so I'm going to put the pink knot side near my green knot, or the same side as my green knot, and the blue near the yellow, and we want it split out and point it down to the bottom of our loom. 
again when you're doing your second ear you want to make sure the pink is on this side along with the green. So now let's loop up. We're going to go under the cap band, grabbing the top single, and it should go to the center because that's the last band we looped. And we're going to pull it up, see the nice teardrop, and loop it up and onto the center peg. And we want to loop up the center band first because we're going to add these decorative fans on the inside of our ear. And you don't have to add it, but since the ginger puppy has it, I'm going to add those bands there. So we want to loop all the center band up first to the third peg from the top. Now I'm taking two single red bands and looping it from the fifth peg to the fifth peg on my loom. So that's what yours should look like. Taking two single white from the fourth peg to the fourth peg and a single red band twist double from the third peg to the third peg. So that's what yours should look like. And now let's loop up the sides. We're going to go under the cap band, grab the top single and wherever that takes you, loop it onto itself. It should create the nice teardrop. Since I'm on my left, I'm going to finish my left side all the way to the third center peg. Just reaching in, grabbing the bottom single band, making sure the band catches so our ear doesn't fall apart. And loop to the center third peg. Repeating for the other side, once again reaching under the cat band, grab the bottom single, loop up and onto itself and continue up the right side of our loom. So everything should be looped now for our ear. And let's finish to the center first peg. Just reaching in, grabbing the bottom single, and loop up and onto itself. So our ear is done, and let's take it off of our loom. Make sure you spread it out so the bands underneath the red and white doesn't um, show on the outside. And push our little dots on our ear in so it doesn't protrude out so much. So there's your ear. Go ahead and tie a loose slip knot and pause the video to make the second one. Remember we need a right and a left ear. So make sure you put the dot placement in the right spots as you're doing your second ear and come back when you're done. And let's make our tail. I'm taking my last knot and getting it onto my hook. Taking a single white, twist double, and pulling the loops off of our hook and onto that single we doubled. Taking a single red, twist double, and getting the loops off of our hook and onto that single we doubled for our red. And you can make your tail long if you want. Now taking the color of our puppy and getting the tail onto that single band. And once again, put it aside to add to our body later. Now let's make the face, and you can just make the face charm if you want, it's still really, really cute. Taking two single bands, we're going to loop from one peg, cross in the center to the other one. Repeat two more times, taking two single bands, 
across in the center to the other side. Two single bands, cross in the center to the other side. And we want to cover six pegs. Row number two, we're going to add our ears. We're going to take our ears and we want to make sure the purple is closer to the top of our loom and we're looping it from the first to the second peg on the side. So here's my ear. My purple is closest to the top of my loom. And our other ear, same thing. We want the purple closest to the top of our loom. So we're going to loop it on the first to the second peg on the other side of our loom. And for the rest, we're taking a single band to cover our pegs and then looping the bottom two bands up and over. And we want to leave two loops left per peg. Just go around all six pegs, looping the bottom two bands up and over to the center. Push it down. So that was row number two. So that was row number two. Let's expand. We're going to pull the two loops off of the center third peg and move it to the center fourth peg. Now pulling a single loop off of the second side peg that's attached to the first and moving it to the third. So I'm going on my right side, grabbing the top single and I see that's attached to the fourth center peg. I'm just going to put it aside because I want the other loop that's attached to the first side peg. And this one is removing it from the second side peg and moving it to the third side peg. And then reattaching the one we took off first back onto the second side peg. So the second and the third each has a single loop. Repeat on the left side, pulling the top loop off. Check to make sure it's attached to the first and this is not. So I'm going to put it aside, getting the other loop off of the second side peg and moving it to the third side peg. And it's attached to the first and then reattaching the one we took off back onto the second side peg. So this on this side, the second and the third side peg each has a loop. Let's go on to row number three. Taking our eyes, we're going to attach it on the first center to the side first peg for both sides. And then taking a single band to cover the rest of our eight pegs. So that's what yours should look like. Now let's loop the bottom bands up and over. The second and third should have a single loop to pull up and over since we expanded and you should have two loops left per peg for all eight pegs. I'm going to the other side to grab my single loop to pull up and over to the center, leaving two loops, and the rest should have two loops to pull up and over to the center, leaving us with two loops left per peg. And you wanna go and repeat for all eight pegs. So row number three is done. Now let's make the mouth area for our puppy. On the loom, we're taking a single band, twist double, and looping it from the first to the second side peg, whichever one you want. Just don't attach it to our body. Single twist double on the other side. 
with two single bands we're coming diagonally for both sides so that's what yours should look like taking a single black band for our nose and we're going to cap that off by looping it four times so that's one two three and four taking a single band twist double and looping it from that peg to that one to cinch up our nose and now we're going to go under the cap band grabbing the top two loops and pulling it up and see the nice teardrop take it there go back under the black bands grabbing the bottom two bands loop up and onto itself and let's loop the sides grabbing the bottom two bands loop up and onto itself repeat for the other side pulling it up and onto itself let's take the bottom loops off so that's what yours should look like and let's grab the four loops off of each peg onto a hook so there's our nose and now we're going to attach it on the first side peg for both sides so you should have four loops to attach the first side pegs for both sides pull it out making sure you have all four loops on the side peg so my right side is attached pull it over the center first peg don't let anything attach to that center first and we're going to loop the other side getting all four loops onto the left first peg and once again nothing should be attached to the center first peg and it's pretty tight so be careful row number four we're taking eight single bands to cover our eight pegs and we'll loop the bottom bands up and over remember to cover from the center first to the side first peg and you should have covered all eight pegs with eight single bands now let's loop the bottom two bands up and over for all our pegs except for the first side pegs and you should have two loops left per peg now for the first side peg we want to loop the bottom two bands up and over leaving six loops left on that peg repeat for the other side pulling the bottom two loops up and over to the center leaving six loops left on the first side peg now for the first center peg we want to go under the two bands we just looped and grabbing the bottom two bands and we don't want to pull any bands for our nose so making sure our nose is out of the way pulling the bottom two bands up and over and it should be in the center and looping it up and over that first center peg so our nose isn't attached anywhere and we still have two loops left on that first center peg so that's what yours should look like push everything down row number five is our last row for our head taking eight single bands to cover our eight pegs and looping the bottom two bands up and over leaving us with two loops left per peg
Remember the first center peg, we want to reach under the two bands we just looped on, pulling the bottom two loops up and over to the center. And again, we do not want our nose to be looped in any way. It's still just wrapped around that first center peg. In the side first peg, we're going to go under, grabbing all six loops, and we're going to pull it up and over to the center. And you should have two loops left on that first side peg. Repeat for the other side. Once again, reaching under, grabbing all six loops to pull up and over to the center. And you should have two loops left per peg and repeat for the rest. So that's what yours should look like. And let's take the two loops off of each of the eight pegs and going around clockwise around my loom. And the first center peg, we only want to grab the two loops and not our nose. So very carefully, if you want pull on your nose to the side, grabbing only the two top loops onto our hook. Our nose is still attached and we can pull it off if you want now. So that's what yours should look like. And grabbing the rest of the two loops off of the eight pegs, getting it onto a hook, and getting our puppy's face off of our loom. I'm taking some bands that I don't use and putting it in his head, and you can use whatever you want. And don't overstuff it, just put just enough so it's squishy. Taking a single band and pulling the loops off of a hook and onto that single band to tie a slip knot. Let's hide the slip knot band. So there's our ginger puppy's head, and if you just want the head charm, you're done. And if the mouth isn't right, just fix the band so it looks right for you. So there's the head, and now let's attach it to a body. And I'm going to go under my neck area, so there's my head, flip it a little bit, go in the back of my head. I'm going to pull eight loops, so two, four, six, eight, getting all eight loops onto my hook. And there's my puppy's face, and that's how it'll go onto my head. So this is the bottom loop. I went one, two, three, rung up. And you can really do it anywhere in the back of your head, and it'll get on your puppy's body. Taking four single bands, and we're going to pull the eight loops off of our hook and onto the four single bands. So that's what yours should look like. And my puppy's face is pointing towards my palm. Now with our loom, we're going to attach it from the first center to the left second peg. And we want our puppy's face to be in between the first center to the left first peg. Getting all four loops on those pegs. 
Now we're going to pull two loops off of the first center peg and attaching it to the right first peg. So that's what yours should look like so far. Now pulling two loops off of the left second peg and moving it to the center third peg. Our last two single bands for this row, looping it from one peg, cross in the center to the other one, covering six pegs. Row number one is done. Row two, we're taking six single bands to cover our six pegs. And looping the bottom two bands up and over to the center, leaving two loops left per peg. And you always want to reach on the outside of our loom, grabbing the bottom two bands, looping it up and over to the center, leaving two loops left on each peg. Push it down. So that was row number two. Let's expand. We're going to pull the two loops off the center third and moving it to the center fourth. And once again, grabbing a single loop off of the side second peg. That's the touch of the first and moving it to the third. So on the left side, grabbing the top single. Check to make sure it's attached to the first. And it is, so I'm moving it to my third. Go on the other side. Grabbing the top single, and I see it's attached to the center fourth, putting it aside. Grabbing the other loop off of the side second, and moving it to the side third, because it's attached to the first side peg. And then reattaching the one we took off first, back onto itself. So the second and third for both sides should have a single loop on them. Row number three, let's add our front legs, taking our loose slip knot off, and we're going to attach one on the first center to the left first peg, and the other one on the left second to third peg on our loom. So that's what yours should look like and covering the rest of our loom with a single band to cover our eight pegs. And loop the bottom two bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. The second and third should have a single loop pull up and over to the center, leaving us with two loops left per peg. Let's repeat on the other side, grabbing our bottom single for the second and third peg and looping it up and over, leaving two loops left. And the rest should have two loops to pull up and over to the center. Make sure you check that you've looped all the bottom two bands up and over leaving only two loops left per peg. So that was row three. Rows four and five, we're just going to take eight single bands to cover our eight pegs. And then looping the bottom two bands up and over. There should be two loops left on each peg after you looped up. Go around all eight pegs. Making sure you reach on the outside and looping it in towards the center of our loom. So that was row four, row five, same thing.
Row number six, we're going to add our hind legs and our tail. So taking our legs, undo a loose slip knot, attaching it on the same four pegs from the first center to the left first peg and the second to third peg on the left side of our loom with our other legs and our tail. We're going to attach it on the second to third peg on the right of our loom like that. Now covering the rest with a single band to cover our eight pegs. And looping the bottom two bands up and over. And we want to make sure we have once again two loops left on each peg. Go around all eight pegs. Always pulling the bottom two loops up and over to the center. So our puppy is done. Let's take him off the loom. Once again, taking the two loops off of each of the eight pegs and going counterclockwise. And you can go in whatever direction you want as long as our legs are sticking out and we're grabbing it off of our loom. Getting all the loops onto our hook and getting our puppy off the loom. So there's our puppy. Let's stuff him and don't overstuff him. I'm taking some bands. You can use whatever you want, cotton balls, tissue papers, or whatever you have around. And let's tie up off, taking a single band and pulling all the loops off of our hook and onto that single band. And do a slip knot, cinch them off, and tuck in that slip knot band. Fix his arms and his legs so he looks right. Fix his ears, smush his head so he's nice and round. Fix his body. So here's our gingerbread puppy. I hope you like him. Thanks for watching.